Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. As you can see on my screen, topic for today is AWS S3 storage lens. So one of a good service that I would say what Amazon has provided to us, which will help you to understand, analyze, optimize your storage and the activity metrics and interactive dashboard to aggregate your data for your entire organization. When I say organization, we are talking about AWS organization with multiple accounts or if you want to do it with specific account, you can do that region based, bucket based or all the prefixes. Everything is visible, accessible within your S3 management console. You can do it via AWS CLI or API or you can use SDKs as well to capture all those data. I prefer to do it from the management console because that gives me a better graphical interface instead of investing time to get the data from my a programming interface and dump into some Power BI dashboard like QuickSight or Power BI, right? So if you're not using it, just go ahead and use this service. Uh, the service itself is free of charge and you get a default dashboard created by Amazon as per your account snapshot, what they call. And trust me guys, I have used this service a lot with multiple clients and we optimize the storage, we deleted the unused S3 bucket and we deleted a lot of junk data from our S3 bucket for that client and we saved a lot of cost over there. How S3 storage lens work? So it's a storage lens that provides you a single view of usage and activity across your S3 storage. So let's say if you are having 50 buckets in one account, 50 buckets in another account and every account is part of an AWS organization then it will help you to get all the metrics out over organization account or a specific account and you will see a single view where you can analyze your what kind of GB, how much GB is present for that day, particular bucket and whether you can optimize it, you can delete it or not depend upon the requirement that you have. It also drill down the, it also has a drill down option to generate the insights of your organization, account, bucket, object, or even the prefixes level. So that level of granularity is present with S3 storage lens. It analyzes, as I said earlier, it analyzes all your storage metrics and it also provides the recommendation that will help you to optimize the cost. What we are doing, right? We always try to optimize the cost without impacting the performance. Since S3 is a managed service, everything in the back end, the back end infrastructure is handled by AWS, right? They are promising us this is 99.999% availability. Performance is very good. One of the cheapest stories that I have used across the cloud vendors and promising, right? It, it has a prominent features as a storage. So that's, that's where the analysis of doing all those particular buckets, their storage and reduce the cost. You can also use S3 storage lens to get a summary insight, such as finding out how much storage you have across your entire organization or which are the fastest growing bucket too. Identify the outliners in your storage metrics and drill down to the further to investigate the source of spike in the usage or activity. So, it uses the best practices. You can also assess the best practices out of the storage lens, such as analyzing the percentage of your bucket usage. You have encryption or not. You have bucket, object bucket, uh, bu sorry, object in the bucket is logged or not. So all those best practices comes into picture and that's where the storage lens help you out, right? So that's, that's the scenario behind the storage lens. Uh, again, this is what AWS is recommending us to use and I do recommend also to use this service to take benefit out of it and reduce your cost, optimize the storage area. So let's jump to our AWS management console into the S3 management console. I'm into my S3 management console. As you can see, I have three buckets. Obviously, I don't have much data over here, but still I'll try to show you what kind of size and everything is there, right? Again, you can check out the sizes with the help of CLI. You can take the S3 APIs and call all those things into one Excel sheet or wherever you want to put it. But I prefer since this service is already there. So it's better for me to use this service. Now, 
I have three buckets as I mentioned and if you click on the account snapshot which is basically a view storage lens dashboard you cannot do this configuration or you cannot check or create a new dashboard apart from the default dashboard from the root account. So I am owner of this account and I generally use the root account to do all those stuff because I do have some preferences to use root account. But for using the storage lens, you have to log in with an IAM user having that access. So first of all, let me go to IAM and see, do I have any user or not over there? So permission required is S3 list, get, and get storage on the dashboard and the configuration side. So I have five users and I have this user, but I don't remember the password. So let me reset the password for this. I'm administrator generally, uh, that's, uh, I prefer to do it when I'm an owner of an account. So let's generate a custom password. Okay. Click apply. Perfect. Let me open up a private window. I don't want to log out from this window. Console.aws amazon.com. And before that, I need to take the ID of this account. Let me grab it. Go to the dashboard. Where is that? Uh, yeah, I can do it from here. Copy and then Let's put this and that's my user. That's a new password that I have created. Perfect. Now I am logged into my same account with IAM user. So obviously you might have seen this pop up to go to a new console. I'll not do that. Prefer to use an old one. So let's go to S3 again. Perfect. Now, as you can see the snapshot, which is not present with the root account there, we were getting the permission issue. I have 2.2 gigs of storage, 126 object average size is this one. And that's a default dashboard. You can also enable the metrics, in the default dashboard. So that's the account snapshot for the storage lens. But apart from this, what all we are getting. So click on view storage lens dashboard. So this is a default dashboard. You can also create your custom dashboard. There's no issue with that. You can filter out, uh, select all regions, select all accounts or specific account, select all type of storage classes, depend what you are choosing, standard, standard IA. So for me, it's all for now. So you can filter it out, right? Let's see, we have a couple of options over here. Overview, account, AWS region, storage classes, and bucket. So in the overview section, the same uh, which we saw earlier with the snapshot on the main page, we have 2.2 gig, 126, the same three. Three buckets are there and one account. So that's my summary. Uh, you can see in the percentage as well, percentage in the change comparison, uh, cost efficiency, uh, it's 100% current version. I'm totally using the current version for all my buckets, there is no versioning enabled. So that's that. Data protection is also there. Encrypted bytes is 90% and uh, current version bytes is again 100%. You can also drill down with the date, uh, day, then week, then month. Obviously, uh, I'm using this, I guess, from last few years or month. I don't remember exactly when I updated the my bucket last. Now trends and distribution, uh, total, you can filter out uh, with the help of total storage or average object size, then object count. So based upon your usage, select the metric and you can see the last 30 days of uh, data storage, how the trend is happening for my account. You can go till 15 months. Now that's, that seems to be a better scenario for me. As you can see, 2.2 gigs, I'm, I guess I'm using it from long time. Uh, that's the storage class distribution. Most of our standard and standard I am not using any other uh, storage classes. There are like two regions I'm using Oregon and Virginia. And uh, that's, that's the snapshot of the storage class in the region. 
if we go down top n overview so as you can see i have top three storage last 30 days again the same uh, what's your account id and region what all buckets we are having now uh, analyze by you can select account or storage class click apply so this will give you again a proper graphical interface so this is blue as you can see standard ia and this is uh, kind of a maroon or red i don't know but uh, that's standard storage now distribution storage classes as i selected total storage so standard standard ia i'm getting it you can see two gigs of standard ia storage i'm using now bubble analysis of the storage classes based upon the whatever the metrics you are choosing from the option and finally uh, since we have selected the storage class analysis so that's what it's giving it me over here so you can see like what all options we are getting we are getting hell lot of good options to analyze the data and that's where it help you out so for example if you are not using data frequently then move that data or the object to a standard infrequent access storage class or let's say one zone IA or any other storage class or intelligent tier, right? So we have discussed all those stuff as part of our S3 playlist or S3 series. So I'll share the link as well. That's where you can analyze the data. You can move the data from one storage to another storage, delete the junk data of it and save costs for your company. The another pointer which I want to cover up with this particular video tutorial is let's say we are working as part of an organization. When I say AWS organization, it's having a multiple account, a developer account, a man services account, a production account, staging account, every account is using different, different S3 bucket. And I want to analyze what sort of storage we are using as part of an organization because as of now i showed you at account specific level which is 6508 but i have i guess another account added to my organization which we can analyze as well if there is any bucket present or not so for that uh, what we have to do click on view dashboard configuration and again this is a default account dashboard that's something aws has created for us so there are like few settings that you can change. There are like few settings which you cannot change because those are predefined values. In order to edit the values, you can click on edit where uh, it's a diff the name cannot be edited. Home region, it's still there. You can change the status from enable to disable. By default, it is enabled from AWS. And that's where you can configure if let's say if you want to use a default dashboard and you want to analyze the org data, all S3 buckets across your organization, across your multiple AWS account. So that's where you have to give an access for the default dashboard. But instead of having a default dashboard, I would like to create a new one. Now here also metric selection, free metrics. So it's basically data is available for 14 days. After 14 days, it basically go to the retention part and then you can do an advanced metrics as well which is for 15 months these are the metrics that what we have uh, from aws and you can enable the metrics export or by default it is disabled so let's cancel this out click on storage lens one level up from the default dashboard now here you can create a dashboard a custom dashboard let's say custom s3 org report okay i generally operate from virginia so i'll keep it as virginia you can have the tagging as well and here click on open aws org setting by default it is disabled so you have to provide an access click on enable save changes perfect so that's your org ID. I already have an org ID created. Now include regions and buckets or exclude regions and buckets. So based upon your requirement, I prefer to have every bucket to be listed, every region to be listed because I want to 
understand how much storage I am using within my organization. So free metric selection, you can export, depend upon your requirement, click on create dashboard. So, oh, dashboard name, S3 org report, create. So dashboard is created. As you can see, this is S3 org report. Now click on this one. Obviously it will take 48 hours of time to populate this particular custom dashboard. And once we have this custom dashboard ready, we will be able to see what all buckets we have in my other account. So for example, let's see uh, if I have not removed from org, since it's showing the org ID, the other account should be listed over there as well organization but yeah data population within the custom dash dashboard will take 48 hours of time but that's the only way that you can enable into your account to have the org data yeah i already have the other account which is 3755 so that is there obviously i cannot show you now but after 48 hours once the data will be available i might have the screenshot available in my chat box so that you guys can see. So I hope this clears a lot in terms of how storage lens work. What is the benefit of using storage lens in terms of your optimizing storage, saving cost, moving data from one storage to another, delete the junk if required and save money for your company. So play it around with your uh, account show it to the management this is one of a useful service that you can play around with and the service itself is free i don't find any costing for that so if you're facing any issue place out a comment in comment section and i'll be there to help you have a nice day bye, -bye.